So Joe, can you help us understand some of the side effects that can be associated with immunotherapy? And one of the great things about immunotherapy, especially compared to chemotherapy, you know, which we have historically used for lung cancer, is many people have very few side effects. And, and I, I describe these as either the easiest drug you'll ever take or the hardest drug you'll either take ever take. Because um, for people who don't get side effects, these drugs literally can feel like you're not getting anything. But unfortunately, when the side effects occur, they can be quite serious and they can be quite varied. And so the reason these drugs can cause side effects is because in the process of activating the immune system to kill the cancer cells, sometimes the immune system gets overly activated and starts to attack things that it shouldn't, like normal cells. And so we call that immune-mediated toxicity or autoimmune uh, toxicity. And that basically replicates autoimmune problems. And so some of the more serious and common um, areas that can be affected are the colon. So if the um, immune system starts to attack the colon, it can cause colitis. Um, and so severe diarrhea, bleeding, that can be a very serious complication. It can attack the lungs and people can get inflammation of the lungs that can act like pneumonia, but can be quite dangerous. And then really importantly, it can attack the liver and cause autoimmune hepatitis, which, which can be a serious problem. Now, all of these are uncommon. So typically we're talking like 1% risk of each of these, but cumulatively um, the risk can be higher. And so about 20% of patients who get checkpoint inhibitors will develop some sort of autoimmune toxicity. The important thing is that it can be literally anything. So any um, part of the body the immune system can affect, can cause side effects. And so it's really important to let your doctor know if you're having any changes in your health at all, because it's it's um, always a possibility that it could be caused by the immune therapy. Now, the good news is generally we can treat this by just calming the immune system down with medications like prednisone. And so while these sound like scary side effects, we have a lot of experience now in managing these and, and can generally um, get these under control pretty quickly.